This is going to be a brief demonstration of the OASIS system. You gain access to OASIS two different ways from the student source. In the global menu up here in the upper right, there's always a link to OASIS from every page. And then also underneath student tools, there's a link here to OASIS. So I've already got OASIS open here in another tab. I'm going to come in that way. I'm with a demo account. You'll come in with your UVA computing ID and your initial password is the of your university ID, which is located on the back of your uh, photo ID. Now whenever you log in, it asks you to select a year. As a first year student, you're only going to see one year, but as you go through your second, third, and fourth years of the curriculum, you'll build up and have a, a listing of your schedule for each of the years with your complete academic record. So you'll click on the particular year you want to enter. And by default, you're going to enter into the calendar page. Now the calendar shows <coughs> you your daily or weekly calendar. Uh, so you can see each individual event that you're scheduled to attend. And it will give you the information about that event. So in this case, we're looking at the Sales to Society, which is still in planning stages at this point in time. But it, by default, it's going to show you the uh, name of the course the event title, the date and time, how long each one of these is, where the room will be. This is TBA at this point in time, but it'll be populated before the event. The instructional method, and then who the instructors are. Now each uh, student has a unique schedule, so that whenever you log in, you are seeing just your personal events for which you are scheduled uh, for the week. Now you can also toggle over and say show all events and you'll see all the other events that are going on throughout the curriculum but this will include second and third year events as well so here's CPD 3 small group with uh, Dr. Mark so you would not be uh, scheduled to attend one of those events you're only going to see things if they show up and under show my events now you'll be able to move through the calendar by using this calendar on the left hand side by moving around different months and different weeks now, events get scheduled uh, in advance of your attending them in the curriculum, but they aren't scheduled, uh, finalized scheduled until uh, probably a week or two in advance. So you don't want to look too far into the future and think that that's a finalized schedule. Now, you do have the ability to export out your calendar into your personal calendar, and uh, Oasis supports export into many different types of calendars, but I've selected here the Google Calendar because you'll be using the uh, Gmail email system, which already has your calendar in there, uh, and you'll it, it'll export it out as a URL that you can then include within your um, your Google calendars. So within your uh, personal Google Calendar, or there's other calendars supported here as well, as you can see Mozilla Sunbird and and um, Outlook and Palm Desktop and so forth. Uh, but you'll be able to integrate a read-only version of your academic calendar in your uh, personal calendar and mix it in with other personal appointments you may have. Now when you click on the schedule tab you're able to see the courses in which you are enrolled for a given year. Uh, you'll notice over here on the right hand side it has actions and you have access to things like gradebook and in this case a drop uh, if and once you've entered into your elective year, you'll be using this uh, system of Oasis for the adds and drops of uh, different electives. Now, Oasis also supports uh, the completion of all electives, excuse me, um, evaluations uh, within the curriculum. So if you have evaluations complete, you'll see a link like this in the upper right hand corner. And you'll click on that evaluations complete, and then here's the links to two evaluations you're going to see a variety of different types of evaluations over the course of the curriculum. These two happen to be course evaluations, so you as the learner are evaluating the courses. You'll also have small group evaluations, uh, such as this one here, so it's a small group evaluation. So you're evaluating how well that small group operated. You also be asked to evaluate the teaching of uh, your uh, faculty and residents that you work with later on in the curriculum. You'll also go through peer-based evaluations where you're evaluating your peers within your small groups. They all work in essentially the same way. You simply click on the link and you'll see the evaluation form on the screen. In this case, it's a lot of open-ended types of questions. Whenever you see the little star, that means it's a required uh, question to respond to. And then once you get down to the bottom, you'll have two options, submit, which means you're really finished with it, or save but don't submit, I'm not done. 
and that'll allow you to come back in and edit the evaluation later on. Now if I only answer one question and then hit submit it'll prompt me and say you have to go back and answer all the other questions before it is considered complete. I'm going to go back a couple of steps here. I can see all the, the evaluations that are in my queue. Now if an evaluation is uh, open and a grade is posted within OASIS you have to complete the evaluation before you can gain access to your gradebook. But OASIS also includes the gradebook both for the final course grades which for the pre-clerkship curriculum are all pass-fail and then for the clerkships they're currently scored A through F uh, as well as all the intermediate grades such as for quizzes and uh, midterms and things of that sort. So if you to gain access to your gradebook you simply click on gradebook and then you'll see it listed by course so this uh, demonstration student for the molecular and cellular medicine you can see for quiz 1 they got 88 quiz 2 84 and for their summative assessment 1 90 now for some grades you'll also see a link here for seeing a histogram of the uh, results so that you can see how your grade compared to those within your class see where you fell within the histogram distribution so that's it in a nutshell um, I should say that before you log out you'll want the first time you do log in you want to change your password using the account button uh, the requirements are that it be a minimum of eight characters and has both numbers and letters so make a good hard password because you'll be using OASIS all the time for your private information um, and then uh, log out. Uh, be sure to log out each time that you use it so that someone else doesn't gain access to your private information such as grades. So that's it for OASIS. You, I think you'll be finding that you'll be checking into OASIS at least once every week to check your schedule and for grades and evaluations. If anytime you have questions about the use of OASIS there's a link at the bottom of every page for the online help uh, desk of MedEdWeb at Virginia.edu.